Five key considerations for international students coming to the UK. A UK education opens doors where you go in the world. The UK has been preferred choice for some of the most important minds in history. One in four world's leaders has studied in the UK. So if you're dreaming of achieving big things, you can be sure you are in the right place in the UK. To approach your dreams as international students, there are five key considerations to contemplate. One, do your research. Two, check your maintenance requirements. Three, English language requirements. Four, dependence. Five, be prepared and allow time. There are mainly two reasons to do your research beforehand. Firstly, as an international student, you need to be familiar with what you are signing yourself up for. It is a big life-changing commitment to come to the UK to study, so you need to be absolutely sure it's right for you. And secondly, you will be interviewed by a UK visa and immigration caseworker as part of your UK student visa application. And you must show that you are a credible applicant. This means being able to answer questions such as, why do you want to study in the UK? What other study options did you consider? Why did you choose this UK universities of about 130 plus institutions in the country? Why did you choose this course of study? What else does the university offer that attracts you? Where is the campus and how you will get there? So do your research early and make sure you can answer these questions. For credibility interviews, you may watch the mock interviews. Link is provided in the top right corner. You will need to financially support yourself during your study. So you need to know what the international student's maintenance requirement is, again for two reasons. Firstly, you need to have enough funds to support yourself through your studies, covering tuition fee, accommodation, living expenses, visa and immigration health surcharge fees. And secondly, demonstrating you meet the maintenance requirements is actually needed for the UK student visa application. Once you have determined your international student maintenance requirement, before you apply for UK student visa, you will need to have those funds in your bank account for at least 28 days untouched. Undoubtedly, this is one of the main reasons why international students get their visas rejected. International students can work up to 20 hours per week while studying in the UK, but this income cannot go towards your maintenance requirement for the student visa. To study in the UK as an international student, you will need to prove your English language competency. If you are not from an English speaking country, you need an English language qualification such as IELTS, TOEFL, etc or other form of secure English language test. Universities generally require the equivalent of IELTS 6 overall with a minimum of 5.5 in each element. It is not always possible to bring dependents as an international student, so you need to check with your chosen university. There's also the challenge finding accommodation for your families. Universities typically only have a few places suitable for families, so if you want to live on campus, you will need to make early arrangement to secure accommodation. Be prepared to arrive on time as it's crucial to be settled in for induction before your program starts, otherwise you will be on the back foot. So get everything in order as soon as possible. You should take as much control as early as possible by applying for several universities to get conditional offers as these cannot be taken away. It means you can definitely come to the UK as international students if you meet the conditions and you can choose which university you want to study at once you get your grades. 
If you are waiting for your grades in August and your course starts in September, if you are not prepared such as having your maintenance in your bank account for 28 days, you will be late arriving in the UK and start your studies on the back foot. You need to be in a position to book your flights, arrange your airport pickup and finalize your accommodation when you get your visa. So don't leave everything to the last minute. If you found this video useful, don't forget to press the like and subscribe to the channel for similar videos. Thanks for watching.